Okay, in these examples we're going to um, simplify the expressions and then divide and we'll have uh, exponents to look out for in these examples, okay? So let's start with I'll do this example one then hopefully you can do this one so uh, I'll do one A hopefully you can do one B so anyway write this down we got parenthesis then 9 minus 5 parenthesis all squared all over 9 squared minus 5 squared 9 squared minus 5 squared right so what you want to do <coughs> with a fraction is you want to calculate the top and then calculate the bottom and then get and then figure out the answer at the end. So, like the last thing we're going to do here is is divide. You know that this this division obviously is going to come at the end because you actually want a number on the top and then a number on the bottom. So we we basically have two separate problems. We figure this thing out all by itself, then this thing out all by itself, and then we we do the division. So let's start in the top. Forget about the bottom altogether. If you just start with the top, nine minus five all squared. What are we going to do with that? So we've got parentheses, right? Now if you follow the order of our operations, you've got to do parentheses first, right? So inside the parentheses, we've got 9 minus 5, that gives 4, right? And we still have a squared. So what's 4 squared equal to? 4 squared, remember, is 4 times 4, isn't it? 4 times 4 is what? 16, right? Now on the bottom, so the top is has become a number, it's number 16. On the bottom we've got 9 squared minus 5 squared. This is totally different than the top, isn't it? The top we had parentheses, so you know we did parentheses. The bottom we've got exponents and subtraction. What do we do first? Subtract or exponent, right? So just quickly write down the or order of operations well, on the side of your page. So you got PEMDAS, right? And we start with parentheses. And we do exponents. Right? So then uh, and at the end we subtract. Okay? So we've got to do exponents and then subtract. So 9 squared, remember, is 9 times 9. What's 9 times 9? 81, right? 5 squared, remember, is 5 times 5. What's 5 times 5? 25, right? And then we need to subtract, right? So 81 minus 25 borrow 10 so we have 7 here and 11 here 11 minus 5 is 6 and 7 minus 2 is 5 so the bottom here becomes 56 right now we've got to put the answer in lowest terms okay always put your answer your fractions in lowest terms so keep going and what goes into I mean you can see that 2 goes into the top and bottom but if you know your 8 times tables 8 times 16 would go in twice 8 into 56 goes 7 times right so answer 2 sevenths. and just as a side note we could have done you know 16 over 56 I mean you could have went 2 into that goes 8 times and 2 into 5 would be twice remainder 1 2 to 16 8 so you could have got 8 over 28 and then you could have went 2 into that goes 4 times and 2 into that goes 14 times and that gives you 4 over 14 and then 2 into 4 goes twice 2 into 14 goes 7 times and that gives you 2 over 7 so we went over putting fractions in lowest terms and hopefully you remember that you know you don't have like if you if you think of it a big multiple that's great if not you'll get it eventually but but you keep keep going until the fraction is completely in lowest terms don't stop until it's completely in lowest terms right okay so let's see if you can do this one yourself press pause and write it down parenthesis and then we've got one minus four in parentheses all squared over one squared minus four squared
Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'll go and walk through it with you now. So, we got to figure out the top and then figure out the bottom and then um, calculate the fraction, right? So, 1 minus 4 all squared, we can change subtraction to plus negative. 1 plus negative 4 is negative 3. Now, a negative 3 in parentheses all squared means that you've got to go parentheses times parentheses, okay? Parentheses times parentheses. And inside the parentheses, you're going to put negative 3. And when you do that, there'll be negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 9. Positive 9, okay? Now on the bottom, 1 squared is 1 times 1. And that's 1, right? 4 squared, 4 times 4. And that's 16. That's just 4 times 4, okay? And then you just put this subtract sign here. Now, why is that 4 times 4 and not negative 4 times negative 4? Because the squared was just touching the 4. There was no, like up here, there was a parenthesis around the negative. But here, there's no parenthesis around this negative. This negative is like a subtraction, and it's just at the end, okay? So, we're just doing exponents here, exponents, and then we're subtracting, and that's it, right? So we've got 1 minus 16. One dollar, take away sixteen dollars. How far are you in debt now? You do plus negative. One positive, sixteen negatives makes negative fifteen. Okay. Now, is this in lowest terms? Are we in lowest terms? You've got to put your fraction in lowest terms. Three into three, or sorry, three into nine, and three into fifteen. Three into nine goes three times, three into fifteen, five, right? Now it's a positive over negative. That's a positive nine over a negative fifteen. So the sign of the fraction is negative and you should always write your negative sign in line with the fraction bar and then it's three over five. See that? So notice how the subtract sign is left in line with the fraction bar. Okay, on to example two, examples two. So I'll walk through this one and hopefully you can press pause and do this yourself, right? So negative five times two squared minus three times four squared all over negative four times 17. And again, we figure out the top, and then we figure out the bottom, and then we put the numbers here. Um, I think just to make it nice and neat. On this I'm going to, well first of all I'm just going to make get the bottom because that's easy. That's just one calculation. It's a negative times a positive. What's the sign going to be in the bottom? Negative times positive? Negative, right? And um, 4 times 17 4 7 is 28, carry 2 4 times 1 is 4 and 2 is 6, 68. So negative 68. So the bottom is fine. Just need to do the top. And to be honest, I'm going to um, do that over on the side of the page just so that I don't make a mistake. So I'm going to go step by step. Negative 5 times 2 squared minus 3 times 4 squared. Right. Now I've got multiplication, exponents, and subtraction. What do I do first? No parentheses, but you you do parent you do exponents next, right? And there's a two squared, and the squared is just touching the two. It's just operating on the two, not the five. Okay, so two squared gives you four. It's two times two, right? What's four squared? Four squared is what? Four times four, which is. 16, right? 
Now write out the line again. Negative 5 times 4 minus 3 times 16. Now what have we got? We've got subtractions and multiplications. What should we do next? Multiply or subtract. So, no parentheses, we did the exponents, now we need to multiply. Okay. So negative 5 times 4, negative 20. Right? What's negative 3 times 16? And again, if you want to, you can do this plus negative. Now it says negative 20 plus uh, a negative 3 times 16. What's negative 3 times 16? 6 is 18, carry 1, 3, 1, and 1 is 4. So that's plus a negative 48. Okay. Negative 20 plus negative 48. 20 negatives and 48 negatives. How many negatives? That negative 68. So that is what the top comes. So the point is, I make a mess reading things over. Because it's kind of a long problem. And I want to just do it step by step to get the right answer. The problem with math is if you make one mistake, all things wrong. Right? So let's do our best. Write thing line by line. Take your time. No rush. Make sure you pop time to ask. That you'll get the answer in the end. So, negative over negative what sign? Negative divided by negative is positive, right? And 68 or 61, 68? 1. So the end positive 1 or just 1. So, so this example 2b, please press pause, write it down and try it yourself. So press pa or uh, it's negative one times two cubed minus six times one cubed over negative two times negative fourteen. Okay, please write it down and try it yourself, and then I'll walk through it with you. So I hope you tried it. I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to walk through it now, and the first thing I, I want to do is the bottom because it's just one operation there. It's just multiply. That's all. Okay. Now that's a negative times a negative. So what's the sign going to be? Negative times negative gives positive, right? 2 times 14, 2 times 14, 28, right? And on the top, I'm going to write that out, and I'm going to go step by step using the order of operations for that one, okay? So I've got negative 1 times 2 cubed minus 6 times 1 cubed. Go look at my order of operations and do things step by step. Don't make mistakes. So, PEMDAS. There's no parentheses. No parentheses. But we do have exponents. Now, that cubed on the 2 is just touching the 2. This is just going to operate on the 2. Not the negative 1. Just the 2. Right? So what is 2 cubed, by the way? 2 cubed is... 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times itself 3 times. That's what cubed means. So when you've got an exponent of 3, you multiply it by itself 3 times, right? 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, right? So that's what 2 cubed is. Now you get 1 cubed. Again, this exponent is applying to the 1, not the negative 6, just the 1. And what does that become? So that's 1 times 1 times 1, which makes 1, right? And then just write out the whole problem again. Negative 1 times 8 minus 6 times 1. So step by step, no rush. Now, we've got subtraction and multiplication. Which should we do first, multiply or subtract? So if you follow PEMDAS, next thing you've got to do is multiply, and you subtract at the end, right? So negative 1 times 8, negative 8, right? What's negative 6 times 1? Well, that's a negative 6. Or you could do this if you want, plus negative. Now it says plus negative 6 times 1. 
So that's just like plus negative 6. So in any case, it's negative 8 plus negative 6. What does that give you? 8 negatives and 6 negatives make 14 negatives. Negative 14, right? Now, we've got to put this guy in lowest terms and figure out what sign it should be, right? So let's start with the sign. It's a negative over a positive. What sign should that be? It should be a negative fraction, and the negative should be in line with the fraction bar, right? Now, if you put this in lowest terms, um, let's see that. Can you see that 7 goes into the top and bottom? So 7 into 14 goes twice, 7 into 28 goes four times. But we can still divide because 2 can go into the top and bottom. So 2 into that goes once, 2 into 4 goes twice, right? So we get negative 1 over 2, negative 1 half. There's different ways of putting the fraction in lowest terms, but the answer should be negative 1 half, right?